The Bitcoin price right now is definitely getting rejected from this upper level right here at $70,000. What is going to happen to the Bitcoin price next? Because if we look at the daily chart right here, guys, this definitely does not look like good news. Are we going to get another rejection down to a shallower level, for example, down here to about $63,800? Or are we going to go all the way down here to this 54, 53K price target down here? I want to talk about that in today's video. Before we get any further into the video, guys, don't forget to drop a comment down below. All you have to do is comment literally anything down below and you are entered to win $100 every single week. It takes two seconds of your time. Slap a like on the video as well and uh, drop your comments down below and let's see if you win next week. Also, I want to talk about this right here because there is over 5 billion Yes, billion with a B, 5 billion worth of short liquidation leverage ready to get absolutely obliterated at 72,000. So if I were you watching at home, I personally am not going to be doing any short trades because I think Bitcoin is springing, is coiling up like a spring, ready to explode any moment now. Of course, that could be in the next few weeks, a few months. Whenever it happens, it will happen, and it will happen with a big, big effect. That scale is going to be massive, simply because we are in this broadening uh, broadening wedge right here, this broadening channel right here, and I think most likely we are going to have a retest of this price up here at the $70,000 level. We are going to have a retest, in my opinion. We are going to see something similar to this, where we got rejected right there. We go down, sideways action, and then we have a retest. This retest is going to be absolutely critical for the Bitcoin price because if we cannot retest it and break it, when we come down here, for example, back down to 64K, a little a little sideways action and a retest, if we cannot break it on this retest, that is going to be extremely bearish for Bitcoin. And exactly like we did right here, when we, when we got rejected, we came down sideways, retested, right there, got rejected, we saw a massive dump to the downside. So this second retest is going to be extremely important because if we cannot break it, we are going to be seeing a Bitcoin price down here at 54, 53K, something in that range. And that, of course, will be very, very scary. The bears will look like they are winning because there is only over 5 billion worth of short liquidations right now. If we see that dump further down, there's going to be even more, probably even 10 billion or something like that of liquidations. But the upside as well. Look at the upside right here because we can see right here 68, 70, 72, all the way up there is staggered liquidations for short positions and I think there is going to get, there is going to be a mass slaughtering of the bears and it will come, I'm not sure exactly when it will come, but it will come in the next few weeks or months. It really depends on this second retest right here if we can go ahead and break it because these are waiting to get liquidated and boy oh boy, I'll be happy when they're liquidated because if you're shorting Bitcoin in a bull market, then you deserve to be liquidated, in my opinion. I do want to talk about this as well, which is the pre-halving and post-halving chart right here from Stock Money Lizards over on Twitter. And we can see right here exactly what happens after the halving right there. We got the pre-halving, which is in red right there, and we got the post-halving, which is in green. Each time it's flipped from green to uh, from red to green, we see a massive explosion in price right there. And then when it, when it flips from green back to red during the bear market again, then red back to green, a massive price explosion. And what's happened right now, we have, of course, had the halving a few months back now. And again, this chart has flipped from red to green, and we are just waiting patiently Everyone at home watching is waiting extremely patiently. Let me know down below in the comments if you're waiting for that Bitcoin pump. That will also enter you into the giveaway to win $100 every single week. So let me know if you're waiting patiently for the Bitcoin price to explode. I am. I'm more excited about alts this um, this bull market, though, in my opinion. There's a lot more money to be made with alts. Bitcoin's already at 60, 70,000. It's probably going to go to, I don't know, 130, 160, something like that. Of course, a 2, 3x is very nice, but people are here for the juicy 10x's, or even maybe are here for the 100x's, 1000x's on the meme coins. Then definitely people are not getting too excited with the 2 to 3x, in my opinion. But having uh, profits from altcoins, from meme coins, putting them back into Bitcoin, and having that as a store of value, I think that's very, very valuable. And it's a method you should be using, or I'm using this bull market. And again, we can see right here. Yeah, we are just literally waiting for 
this to push up and a potential end of uh, an end during winter 2025. I want to talk about this as well before we go back into some Bitcoin analysis because breaking Goldman Sachs CEO says Bitcoin has a legitimate case as a store of value. Of course, this is very, very good news. It's no real shock to you or I. I've been been in crypto now for about eight years, and this is no real shock to to anyone um, that's been in crypto for more than five minutes. But apparently for for these guys at Goldman Sachs, it can be a little bit difficult and they can get a little bit confused when it comes to the best performing asset there is on the planet. Also look at this, Russia to allow crypto payments in international trade to counter sanctions. I mean, this is very, very nice. As you know, most of the Western world has slapped sanctions on Russia. That's why there's no McDonald's there. They have something different. There's no Starbucks, uh, nothing like that. And this is absolutely massive because if you have a Russian bank card or if you have a Visa, MasterCard, Amex, whatever you have, you can't use it in Russia at all. You need a Russian bank card and it's very, very limited if you go there during these sanctions. Simply because of that, you've got to use cash or an alternate bank card, allowing um, crypto to be used as an international um, payment method to counter the sanctions is an absolutely brilliant idea. Just months ago, I believe, they were backtracking on crypto, making it legal for certain instances so this is a very, very interesting flip on crypto, and I'm going to be excited to see how that plays out. Guys, as you know, I am a massive, massive trader during a bull market. I've recently been trading uh, Bitcoin. I've actually been short trading, um, short scalp trading Bitcoin very, very recently yesterday and a little bit today, and I've made a few thousand dollars profit. I'm going to be making a video. It's actually going to be coming out later today. It's already scheduled to come out later today on how you can go ahead and make $500 or $1,000 per day scalp trading Bitcoin or scalp trading crypto over on Femex. I really recommend you waiting for that video to come out later on my channel because it's going to be absolutely amazing. As you know, Femex is one of my favorite exchanges with absolutely no KYC. You're probably bored to death of hearing that I'm in the USA right now, but it is a pain when I want to use other exchanges to trade crypto because I've got to load up my VPN. The, the website goes a bit laggy. The chart sometimes lags and it just gets frustrating when you're trying to trade, especially if you're scalp trading. It's quick in, quick out, and you need that chart to be accurate. If you're using a VPN, it's not always. So Femex, in my opinion, one of the best exchanges out there. They've got every coin to trade with massive amounts of leverage you can use, of course, safely and responsibly. But there is a massive opportunity over there to, to go ahead and trade on Femex. Not only that, but they have bots as well. You can see these trading bots, which I, are, which I am currently right now testing and using, and I'll make another video on that when I've reported the profits from that. I think it's going to be a really, really cool video. So that's Femex. I am using it. All you have to do is scroll down into uh, down below today's video, guys, and you're going to get up to a $7,000 bonus. You may see bigger bonuses on other exchanges, but you're going to have to do KYC. You're going to have to provide your passport. You're going to have to to provide proof of address, which nobody wants to do in crypto. So Femex is a godsend, in my opinion, this bull market to make profits without anybody knowing about it. Don't tell anybody though. So uh, yeah, let's go back to Bitcoin and take a look, further look at what actually did happen. If you are watching, still watching and you're still interested. So we can see right here, a clear higher high right there or three higher highs right there which again is very very bullish it's it's nice that's why we retested this level right here up just about seventy thousand dollars give or take we can say and again we got rejected we had a little bit of sideways action followed by a further move to the downside and in my opinion if we don't go ahead and test this range right here i'll be very very surprised but in my opinion we are going to be testing this range very soon for bitcoin so that's 64 um 300 down to around 60 three five hundred so within a thousand dollar range you can pretty much almost be certain as certain as you can be in crypto that uh, bitcoin the bitcoin price is going to be going down into that range and again it leaves a great short opportunity again i probably wouldn't short crypto in my opinion right now because it is a very very risky if you're short if you're shorting crypto right now you could potentially get burned but hey if you're a bit of a, a gambler which i do not recommend but if you wanted to short bitcoin down to this range right there it could be uh, fairly profitable and potentially from here we could have the retest back up to this level right there and i'll be making a uh, another trade on Bitcoin. I've already got a trade open around $30,000 in profit on another exchange, but I'm going to be opening another Bitcoin trade, most likely on Femex with a larger um, a larger leverage, a larger margin, if we do in fact get back to this level. Because once we do break this level right here, we can see we've been in this channel here now since March. So April, May, June, July, 
pretty much four, pretty much almost five months now we've been in this channel. So when we do break it, we're going to have, have an absolutely massive push to the upside. And I think it's going to be really, really beneficial to trade this. And of course, we know that the Bitcoin is not going to top out at 70K, 73K, this bull market. We know it's not going to happen. It has to break it eventually. Yes, even if I get stopped out and we come up to here and I get stopped uh, and... Um, I don't get stopped out, but the price rejects and comes back down here and I get stopped out. I don't mind because the the potential to have this massive trade for Bitcoin breaking out, going above 100, 150,000, the potential to keep that trade running for a few months is going to be worth hundreds of thousands, if not millions of dollars. So I don't mind getting stopped out a couple of times, losing a few hundred or losing a few thousand in order to get that perfect trade. And sometimes you don't get the perfect trade first time. You've got to take a few stops. You've got to take a few licks and um, then maybe you might get it. So that is, in my opinion, one of the best ways you can trade Bitcoin. Of course, guys, you can go ahead and trade on Femix. The link is down below. Don't forget for that video coming out later today um, on Femix, they're scalp trading to make $500,000 per day scalp trading on Femix. That's going to be a really, really good video with some cool live trading in it. I want you to go ahead and check that out. Thanks for watching today's video, guys, and I'll catch you in the next one.